Gail and welcome to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Today we're going to make a low-carb stuffed bacon-wrapped hamburger. It's absolutely delicious and I know you're going to enjoy it. So let's get started and we'll show you how to make it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to saute mushrooms and onions. So I have a quarter cup of um, butter in the frying pan and now I've chopped up a medium-sized onion. And I have sliced up eight ounces of white mushrooms. So we're just going to saute them and we will continue with our recipe. So I have a pound and a half of lean hamburger. I'm going to use my Herbamere, um, which is one of my favorite spices. It's organic and I'm just going to shake some in and it's probably going to be about a teaspoon, maybe a half of, of um, the Herbamere. So we're just going to mix this up. And then I'm going to pull over my cookie sheet and we're going to start making our hamburger patties. So I'm just going to demonstrate as to how I, I make the, um, the hamburgers. Um, you can use a pop can. I've got a baby food jar here for my grandbaby. And just press your circle in the middle and then you just form it. Now this is a pound and a half of lean ground beef and I've made th or four large hamburgers. There we go. So the next thing we'll do is I have a slice of bacon and I'm going to wrap the bacon around the hamburger. And I'm going to put in a cute uh, toothpick. So then we just take the Q-tip and stick it in so that we have make sure that it's all stuck together, that the bacon is not going to fall apart. So this way you've got the form, you can just play, press down the hamburger, and I'll do one more. I've got, extra, I've got thick bacon here also. I usually buy the thick bacon, I really, really like it. Bacon's one of my favorite meats. So we're just going to press it around. And I'll finish up the last two. So I've got them all wrapped with the bacon and I've put my toothpicks in and I just have the little tips hanging out on the edge because I'm going to barbecue them and I don't want to burn them. Just We have to remember that the toothpicks are in there when we're ready to serve. So the next thing is I love Swiss cheese. So I'm going to put a slice of Swiss cheese on the bottom. And the nice thing is because the hamburger still is raw, you can press it around and uh, make it thinner or higher or just make good shape with the hamburger patty. Now I'm going to add a heaping, well I'd say a tablespoon of mushrooms and onions. Oh, it smells so good. You're really going to enjoy this. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take some Swiss cheese again and we're going to put it right on the center of the top. You can put a couple of slices in if you'd like. If you want it thicker, I'm just going to put the one slice on and we're going to get it ready for the barbecue. Now I've got the temperature about 500 on the barbecue and I'm going to place them on. Now you're going to have to really pay attention because when you have the bacon there is a lot of grease so we want to make sure you keep an eye on them because you don't want them flaming up severely. And we have to cook this right through because we can't turn them over because I've got them stuffed and I have cheese on top. So I'm just going to close the lid and we're going to cook them up and I'll keep an eye on them. So there's been a bit of flame and I just kind of move them around to make sure that um, I'm not having them engulfed in a flame. And I don't know if you can see, but I have juices coming out of the, the um, hamburger here 
And when my juice gets clear, we'll know that it's ready to go. But boy, they look delicious. So here is my barbecued, um, low-carb, mushroom onion stuffed hamburger with bacon wrapped around it. It's absolutely delicious. And it is, you don't even need a bun, but it would be good with a low-carb bun also. Go to my lowcarbrecipeideas.com. Mm, this is really good. Try this recipe. I'd say it was even better than uh, filet, filet mignon with the steak with the bacon wrapped around it. Go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com. Try this recipe, a great recipe on the barbecue, or you can put it on in a frying pan. It's just as delicious. You take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.